Hi there, hello, hi. So, um, I see Chris. Chris says, welcome back to Harry Potter in the crashing microwave. Last time we had some cursed sprites before the game decided to shed the bed and die. Then we did the dumb convinced store of hell. Hi Chris, um, Strybeck, Strybeck says, hey Rick, here's to a glitchless stream, hoping. Chip says the glitches were Voldemort's real curse all along. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try to, we're gonna try to um, do the thing again. I took the time to uh, grab my cartridge. Um, you know, get a swab of alcohol. Yeah, no, like a cotton swab, and then cover it in alcohol, and then just go through the contacts and stuff. Just um, cleaning it out, making sure it works, putting it in in the center of a circle of salt, reciting the proper incantations, you know, uh, a crucifix, all that stuff. So it should be working now. It should be working. Now, there's something I'm looking for. I'm just, uh, just uh, give me a moment while I get this ready. I got a little bit surprised because we just got a, a package from Amazon like a few moments ago. I didn't know they delivered this late. That was really surprising. And ooh, here it is. Sorry. Um I'm uh I forgot that I wanted to use my Game Boy SP as a controller. Um and I didn't like I didn't plug it in for charging so I'm gonna do that actually I'm gonna do that right now um, but I'm not gonna do it like I'm not gonna use my Game Boy SP I'm gonna let this thing charge and maybe in an hour or so if you if it has enough charge I can uh, use that instead okay that is uh, charging question mark it's flickering. Well, eh, it's fine. Um, Chris says, is the Wall of Curse returning? I am not sure. Because uh, I had to delete all the sprites. Well, no, like I didn't delete them. I had to take them off the stream. I have them in a folder. But um, maybe I should set that up. Where did I put them? Here they are. Here's one, here's another one, and this one, and this very small one. Let me just uh, make him big. Chip says, make sure you use handmade beeswax candles for maximum effect. But if you can't make beeswax candles yourself, star starboard paraffin ones are fine too. So what's the difference between a paraffin uh, candle and a wax candle 
asking for a friend. What even is paraffin? Sorry if this is a very unconventional stream so far. Um, that's what Friday streams are, after all. They are just uh, streams with extra steps. But yeah, hi there, hello. Um, not sure if this is going to be a very long stream. I mean, that's what I said last time. And yet we all saw how that went. Chris says, uh, beeswax candles burn very cleanly when the wick is trimmed properly, producing hardly any soot. Paraffin candles produces a lot of soot. What even is soot anyways? Okay. Let's see if this works. Oh, I see the bar of corruptedness. Let me let me hide that. Uh, Chip says beeswax is actual wax from bees. Paraffin is made from chemicals. Everything is made of chemicals. I am made of chemicals. You are made from chemicals. Oh yeah, a lily. We had to go get the lily. Still remind me to save at any moment because we never know. You never know. Um, Chris says, also what came from Amazon? Uh, my, my sister ordered something. Wait. Oh my gosh, I was in the right floor, sorry. Whoops. It's the middle room. Ooh, she isn't here. Let's look around. Wait, wait, she's not? What are we looking around for then? Oh my gosh, we are stealing this. Lady Flower. Found one. Let's get back to Myrtle. Lol. Myrtle, we brought you something. Nobody ever gives me anything but a funny look. We did! A flower! Isn't it pretty? Lady flower. It's a lily. My favorite. That was very nice of you, Harry. Here, I'll teach you my favorite spell. Ew. Rigido, Rigido says hello. Hi, hi, Rigido. Stripex is Harry Potter and the Stolen Lily. <laughs> oh boy, new spell, Mucus ad nauseum. Ugh. Could we ask you something? Did you hear anything strange outside the other night? I wasn't paying much attention. Peeps really upset me at the party. Oh, thanks. If you think of anything though, will you tell us? Sure, thank you again for the flower. Bye. What were you doing in there? That's a girl's bathroom. That girls never use. What difference does it make? Don't you know how it looks? You three coming back here when everyone is at dinner? We didn't do anything, Percy. You, you know that. I do, but some don't. I've never seen Ginny so upset. She thinks you're going to be expelled. Now back to the common room before something else happens. I suppose you're right. Let's go. Stripex says, Oh, that's the curse Peeps inflicted on Harry in the first game. Which was never brought up in the movies. That upsets me so much. Okay, can we take like a shortcut? A shortcut up? 
think there was one in third floor or something. No, um, was it the witch? No, it was in the fourth floor, sorry. Wait, are we healed? Oh, yeah, I need to heal. Chip says, Young Potter, you're ugly, but what can we do? Everyone says you belong in a zoo. If you look in the mirror, it'll surely... It surely will crack. The best thing to do is wear a nice sack. Strybeck says, Well, it wasn't in the novel either. It was added to the game as filler. Chip says, this applies to all the cursed sprites. I do like the somber music here. And yeah, let's just go up manually. Wattlebird. We still don't know who's behind this. Who wants to scare all the non-magical born students out of Hogwarts? We already know who thinks he's better than everyone else. Dra Draco Malfoy. Ugh. Every Slytherin thinks they're better than everyone else. But his family has always been in Slytherin. They could have had the key to the Chamber of Secrets for centuries. How could we ever prove Draco is the heir of Slytherin? There might be a way, but we have to get into the Slytherin common room. You want to break a rule? I don't want to, but we may have to. All we need is a polyjuice potion. What's that? It transforms you into somebody else. Ooh. We could change into three Slytherins, then Malfoy would tell us anything. Do you know how to make it? No, but a book called Most Potent Potions is in the li and the library tells you how, except it's in the restricted section. The only way to get into the restricted section is if a teacher gives us a signed permission note. Maybe we could convince a teacher that we are just interested in the theory and didn't want to make a potion. Oh, come on, what teacher here is that easily fooled? Professor Lockhart, he'll autograph anything that sits still long enough. <laughs> Let's go find him and see if he falls for it. Oh, never mind, we are going out again. Priestess Transformation Fetish Potion number 496, Polyjuice. What? I, I really like it! Why are you kink shaming me? Chip says, wow, that's actually really clever. <laughs> yeah. I forget which floor is it. The layout is just so big. Okay, third floor. Chip says using Lockhart's dumb vanity to get permission. Well, yeah. Da -da 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 -da. Sorry, I really like that song, even though it's only used there. Um, hello, Professor. We have unfused. Well, three of my fervent admirers care to hear about the, tri the time I transfixed a ghoul with the his trainer. Again? Oh, I mean, no, thank you. There's a book we'd like to have a look at. But I thought you already read all of my books. 
no, this is a book in the restricted section. So we need a note. It might help us to better understand your tea strainer. Research about me, eh? Well, never let it be said I stood in the way of an inquiring young mind. They didn't even have to fool him. They just plain, plain said... They just said, oh yeah, for uh, the restricted section, we need a book. And he's like, yeah, okay, sure, whatever. Um, Chris says, Lockhart is a himbo if himbos were supposed to be unattractive. <laughs> Thanks awfully, Professor. Bye. Bright purple ink. Gross. What did you expect? Now let's get to the library and pick up that book. At this point, I don't even know if Hermione likes Lockhart. I thought he, she was, like, obsessed with him, too. But at this point, she's being very condescending about him. Oh, well, I can just take this, uh... Shortcut. Yes, what do you want? We need a book from the restricted restricted section. Here's our signed note from Professor Lockhart. Purple ink. This is genuine, alright. You're granted access to the restricted section, but only to get this book. Sure. Oh, this is very silly. Chip says himbos are meant to be kind. He does not qualify. Here's the restricted section. We are in. We are in, boys. We are in. Here's the book. I need a place where I can study this without being observed. What about Morning Myrtle's bedroom? Well, it is an idea, but it's probably the best choice. Let's go. Let's go. You just left on your own. By the way, who are we going to disguise ourselves as? I'm not sure who I'll be, but you two should be Crab and Goyle. Crab and Goyle! I suppose it makes sense. They are the ones he trusts most. Still makes my skin crawl. I'll study the book and find out what the potion ingredients are. We need to get started on this right away. Harry, the first match of the Quidditch season is today. Gryffindor against Slytherin. Thanks, Colin. Are you going to be taking some photos at the match? I'll photograph the whole thing. Slytherin doesn't stand a chance with you as seeker, Harry. I would livestream this, but it's it that would be anachronistic. I'm going to see if Hermione wants any help with the potion. See you at the game, Harry. Bye. Yay. What else is here? Okay, no, 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 no. I am not ready for battling. Strayback says, I love how she could tell that what it was Lockhart's signature, not from his handwriting, but from the color. Also, hi, Distra, hello. I guess it's time for, for uh, a match. Is it gonna be like practice, which is just, uh, it's gonna be over in like 10 seconds or less? I should save. We're gonna save here and save again before the match. Chris says, yay, more broom flying, my favorite. I do love the, the song. This song from, from the, the grounds. Say what you want about the game, but this soundtrack is golden. Strybeck says, if I'm not mistaken, this is the match with the ball that targeted Harry specifically. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be hard. I think this is gonna mess me up. Here I am, Oliver. I don't look forward to competing against their brooms, though. 
they may have better brooms, but we have better players, and we train in all kinds of weather. Especially the bad kinds. And you have to show Malfoy it takes more than a rich father to make a seeker. We have to win. So, no pressure, Harry. Oh, there she is. Gryffindor side ready? Then let's begin. What are you waiting for, Potter? Give up now if you're afraid. Come on, Malfoy. Oh boy, more of this. Chris says, didn't he break his arm and lock her? The dick made things worse? Yeah, that I think that's about to happen. The bludger's out of control. It hurts some it yeah. It'll hurt someone, but if I stop, it'll count as a forf a forfeit. Uh, I'm I'm going I'm going I'm going I'm going I'm going where's the where's the thing here's the thing gimme give gimme give gimme give Ow <laughs> Yay I got it Ah Game over! Mr. Potter, are you alright? If only I'd have ri arrived here earlier. I should immortalize this on film. I don't want a picture taken, Colin! Get that camera away from me! <laughs> Take him to the hospital wing. No need for that. I'll fix that arm of yours right here, Harry. No! I'll, I'll keep it like this. Thanks. This should fix it. Woo. His arm has gone all rubbery. This really needs a picture. Oh dear. That does happen sometimes. But at least the arm is no longer broken. We'd best get him to the hospital wing. Still taking pictures. They should have brought you here first. I can mend bones in a second, but growing them back. You can do it, can't you? Yes, but you have to spend the night here. I'll be right back with the Skelegro potion. Oh yeah, Skelegro. So Harry Potter came back to Hogwarts. Sometimes Harry Potter wished he hadn't. By the way, why do you wear that pillowcase? It's a sign of Dobby's enslavement to his master. Dobby can be free only if Dobby's master gives Dobby clothes, even a sock, foreshadowing. Well, I just think that's wrong. Why did kind Harry Potter come back here? Why didn't Harry Potter go home after Harry Potter missed the train? How did you know? It was you! You sealed platform 9 and 3 quarters. Dobby was only trying to keep Harry Potter safe. You almost got Ron and me expelled! Things aren't going as Dobby planned. Even Dobby's bludger didn't work right. Bad Dobby. That was your bludger? What were you trying to do? Kill me? Never! Dobby only wanted Harry Potter hurt badly enough to be sent home. Oh, is that all? Why are you doing this? Bad things are to happen at Hogwarts. The terrible days of the Dark Lord are coming back. What does Voldemort have to do with this? Harry Potter broke his power and gave all house elves hope. But now that the Chamber of Secrets is open again. So there is a Chamber of Secrets. Ah, secrets. And it's been opened before. Oh, bad Toby. Very, very, very bad Toby. But how can I be in danger from the chamber? Toby can't say. So you know. Who is it? Who opened the chamber? Toby hears someone coming. Toby must go. Bye. Chris says, does Lockhart actually know how to use magic? And uh, like, did he all actually learn how? I actually don't know. Chip says, Master has been given Dobby a sock. 
Oh, oh, that image. It's on chat. It's on chat. You can see it. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Madam Pomfrey, could you attend us, please? Attend us? Headmaster, what's happened? Colin Creevy has been petrified. We believe he was on his way here to see Harry Potter. We examined his camera to see if he had taken a picture of his attacker, but it was melted. Headmaster, what does this mean? It means the Chamber of Secrets is open, and even I don't know how. Oh, many days later! I thought I'd find you here. Harry, you're out of the hospital! Oh, just out of hospital. Okay, sorry about that. Uh, Chris says, I've turned them into a sock, Harry. I'm sock Toby. <laughs> oh yeah, funniest sheet I've ever seen. Sheet. Um, Chip says, make sure to save. Chance says, save. Hi, Chance. Hello. How's your arm? Fine, the Skeletro potion worked overnight. Overnight? Then why the hell did we use the uh, many days later animation for that? The uh, transition thing. Whatever. I'll never eat boneless chicken again, though. We'd have come to visit, but we decided to get a start on the polyjuice potion. Speaking of visits, Toby told me the Chamber of Secrets had been opened before. Boneless chicken was already a thing in 2003. This is getting worse and worse. We need to complete the potion and get a confession from Malfoy as soon as possible. Speaking of potions, isn't it time for Snape's class? You're right, we'd better get down to the dungeon. Okay, now I get to save. Let's go. Chip says, and from that day forward, Harry Potter lived in eternal depression, no longer able to eat his chicken nuggets. Oh, I actually have chicken nuggets. 
I have not eaten de them yet because I was still full from uh, lunch slash dinner. Maybe I'll have them after. Also, the game has not crashed, which means it worked. The cleaning process worked. I like the song of this place. Are we the only ones in class? That's the potion store room. How are we going to sneak in there without being seen? I got some of Fred's filibuster fireworks. One for each of us. We can use them to create a distraction and sneak in. Potter, you and your hanger son, stop milling about. Take your receipts. Chris says chicken nuggies. And Chip says chimkin nonget. Today, although I know the odds are against me, I will attempt to teach you how to brew a swelling potion. <laughs> Oof, that burn. If he turns his back, we go. For the benefit of those who, of you who can read, I will illustrate the potion formula on the blackboard. Is he allowed to be that mean? Now! What happened? What is the meaning of this? Let's go! Who else is here? There's no other students! It's only us! Who could have been? Go to the storeroom! Okay, we are in. Let's try and find the, the boomslang skin in Bicorn Horn as quickly as we can. I found the, ba the Bicorn Horn. No punctuation. I found some sucked on lemons in a paper bag marked as lunch. Might have known. Really? I never I never knew if he was joking there. Um Chris says, welcome to McDonald's. Do you want a fucking beast trigger? Strybeck says bisexual corn. I like bisexual corn. Chip says bisexual unicorn. Oh, look at that thing. Wait, is that a, a wall in the middle? Look at that skull. Isn't it cute? Cute skull. No. Um, pack. Red name. Holy shit, the music is on coke. Uh, Narami says, why are we fall fighting a wall? What the fuck is this? Hi, Narami, hello. Stripex says, it's either a wall or a hole. Either way, what is doing in the here? And Chris says, I am a bisexual corn. Just one corn. Just one, not even a ear of corn. Just one kernel. I'm trying to sneak into the potions storeroom. But the clap of my ass cheeks keeps alerting Snape. He says, yay, bisexual beings. No, Norami, no. No. Oh, found it. I found the Boomslang skin. That doesn't even sound like a real thing. That's everything. Let's get out of here before it calms down out there. That was surprisingly straightforward. Dang it. Oh, hey. Oh, wait. You know what she needs to do? She needs to, uh... Uh... ha ba 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 ba, -ba.
Oh no. You should know better! Oof! Oh, I should have used a rat. One? Okay. Uh, yeah, just use a rat. Noremi says, Hermione with the wisdom dog attacks. Yeah. Hermione is just like hapapata papata. Swibex says boom slangs are a real thing. They are kind of a venomous tree snake. Their name is Dutch for a uh, tree snake. Wait, also, I have a question. How do you say that? Deutsch? Like D U T T C H? Because fuck English, honestly. Free pendo! Noremi says, if the ball is too big for your mouth, it's not yours. Ha papa. Ha papa da pap. Oof. works you should know better is uh, a, um, a lecture attack that uh, increases experience if I'm not mistaken swipe X says I swear I've heard that enemy runs away sound effect in another game it might have been used in another one yeah burn man that just kills spiders Okay, you know what? Let's uh, let's hababa da ba 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 yourself, Hermione. The dog of wisdom. Nice. It's a very good video. I refuse to just flat out use incendio. I should have done that from the very beginning. Norami says, whenever I think of flipendo, I think of the way Harry says it in the PC game. Why do you think I'm saying flipendo? <laughs> oh shit. That was extremely underwhelming. Settle down, all of you. That was not a potion exploding. Back in your places. Oh, quick. I swear we were the only ones in class. How did he not suspect? I am perfectly aware of what happened. Oh, there you go. That was a prank. If I could prove who did it, I would make sure they were expelled. Uh oh. Class for today is cancelled. You may all leave quickly. When is a class not cancelled in this freaking school? Let's get out of here. It, I swear, like most classes have been like, oh yeah, it's cancelled. Something bad happened. Cancelled. Mr. Potter, I want to speak to you. Uh, is something wrong, Professor? Harry Potter, sé que tienes algo entre manos. Tienes un negocio entre manos. Um, Chris says, I'm drinking Kool-Aid from my glass boot. I like the glass boot. I wish I had one. It's kind of unbelievable that I don't. Normie says, oh, fuck it, Snape. Strybeck says, Snape isn't very bright, is he? 
I don't think anybody here is very bright. Uh, is something wrong, Professor? I can't prove you this you caused the disturbance in my class just now, but I suspect you did. I think a wizard duel in the dueling club between two, you and Draco Malfoy would benefit your training immensely, Potter. Report to the dueling club near the entrance hall immediately. Wow, can you just do that? Well, at least it's not detention or expulsion. I think I can take Malfoy, but I have a funny feeling about this. Let's go. Yay! Chip says, gotta condense this narrative somehow. And uh, Chip says, glass boot. But like written with very unnecessary. Um, Wait, I'm just gonna take the, the shortcut. No, no, no shortcut. No, yes shortcut. Oh, not the shortcut, the shortcut. Mrs. Snape, how dare you? Ah, uh, Chris says Das Boot. Das Boot. What does Das Boot actually mean? I am, I am baby, therefore I don't know. Chip says the boat. Huh. Strikeback says it's a movie about a submarine. So it is a boot. Uh, a boat. Normie says I can't wait to have Dumbledore call uh, to call me a motherfucker. <laughs> what? I mean, I'm sure that's canon, but. Lockhart too. Might as well get this over with. Wow, look at all these sprites on screen at the same time. Chris says, my immortal. The, ga the gym lines of Dumbledore. <laughs> Chip says, he only does that when he has a headache. Um, ah, the second comba combatant has arrived. Dueling Club, allow me to introduce two of the most talented young wizards at Hogwarts. Everyone knows who they are, Gilderoy, just let it begin. Are you both ready? Ready here. It'll be a pleasure to lay curses on you, Potter. Here, here's one I just learned. Frick. I couldn't curse you any more than nature already has. Oh! <laughs> I'm ready. Um, Rami says, I read that and oh my god, it was a trip. I still promised I would read it on stream. Good luck, Harry. Get fucked. Then begin. I'm just going all out. One? Sixty-four? It's 
been... I think I'm under leveled for this. Yep, I'm gonna get fucked. One. Oh, zero, cool. Noremi says, what is that Draco Sprite? No, sorry. Noremi says, what is that Draco Sprite? Chip says, fuck Harry, that cut deeper than the time you use Sectum Sempra. <laughs> Oh shit. 20? Serpent sword, yeah. No, get away! Help! It's going for Justin Finch Fletchley. Leave him alone. Bye. Are you alright, Justin? I never believed it was you, but it must be. What do you mean? I declare the duel a draw. You're more versatile than expected, Potter. Wouldn't have thought you had it in you, Potter. Oh, cool, thanks. Harry, I didn't know. You didn't know what? You're a parcel mouth. You can talk to snakes in parcel tongue, their own language. Why didn't you tell us? I did it before once, in a zoo. I didn't think it was uncommon. It is uncommon, and it's bad. I stopped the snake, didn't I? What could be bad about that? It's bad because speaking parcel tongue is what Salazar's littering was famous for. The whole school already wonders about you. Now they'll think you're Slytherin's descendant. And his hair. But I'm not! How are we going to prove that? I've got to find Justin Finch Fletchley and convince him I wasn't e e egging on that snake. Egg. Egg. Or look for him in the courtyard. I'll search in the dungeon, let's go! Everybody some coke! Strybex says, Egg. Yay! There he is! Justin, wait! We need to talk! Bye. Just what do you think you're playing at, Potter? Stay away! I got to explain to Justin what really happened. those things on the floor. They are Nick and Justin. They are petrified. Look, it's a worm who talks to snakes. Get out of here, peeves. Show me your forked tongue and I'll go. Say, what's that on the floor? Nothing. Now get lost. Statue? No. It's Nick. Alarm! Alarm! Potter's done it again! Two this time! No one alive or dead is safe! Shut up, peeves! What's going on? He's done it again! Potter, you rotter! 
What is that? Hop, hop, and tomfoolery. Potter petrified two more. We're all doomed. Even the ghost. Silence, peeps. The rest of you be about your business. Potter, come with me. Lemon drop. Through here, Potter. I've done all I can. All you can is just take me to the door and just open it. Um, Chris said, just because one guy spoke to snakes, the language is now banned. A bunch of racists. Chip says, troll in the dungeon, just thought you had to know. Faints. Yeah. That's basically what happened. I want to talk to all these portraits. I'm not going to do battling on my own again. I really need my team. I need my posse. This must be Professor Dumbledore's office. There's the sorting hat. I wonder where they kept it when it wasn't sorting students into their houses. What a scraggly bird. Could use a little magic. I'm surprised Dumbledore hasn't. Yikes! I hope it wasn't anything I said. Hello, Harry. <laughs> Hello, Mario. Professor, your, bu your bird caught fire. About time too. Fox is a phoenix. It's in his nature to burn up and be reborn from his own ashes. His gold and red plumage should grow back soon. Phoenixes have many powers and are very faithful. When he returns to full strength, he'll be able to carry amazingly heavy loads. His tears have healing powers. Now, Harry, I want you to know I don't think you're behind the, the attacks in Hogwarts. It's good to know someone believes me. But is there anything else you want to tell me? Anything at all? No, Professor Dumbledore. There's nothing. Very well, Harry. You'd best go back to Gryffindor. Yes, Professor Dumbledore. That was weird. Bird. says hello Mario. Chris says oh hi Harry. So how's your sex life? Haha. <laughs> He's a kid. Oh days have passed. Not one day. Several days. And now it crimas. Merry crimas. See? There's a tree. Hogwarts really empties out at Christmas. Yes, but Malfoy, Crab, and Goyle are still here. It's the perfect time to put our plan into effect. Boomslang skin, Firecorn horn. Wait! We kept those for, for who knows how long before using it? We need only one more ingredient for the potion. What's that? Bits of Crab and Goyle. What kind of bits? Locks of their hair will do. How are we supposed to get their hair? I don't think asking will work. We gave them chocolate cake sprinkled with sleeping potion. When they eat, they eat it and fall asleep, you can take some hair. I don't mind slipping them a potion, but this sounds like a terrible waste of chocolate cake. We can just give them cake, even their tiny little minds will suspect it's a trick. Challenge them to a wizard's duel. If they win, you can give them cake as a reward. If they lose, you give them cake as a consolation prize. 
and when they are asleep we can hide them and take locks of their hair and finish the potion and go down to Slytherin after you get the hair meet me in morning Bertel's bedroom I'll be working on the potion let's go and find them Ron I just hope they like chocolate I just hope they wash their hair It's Christmas tree. Chris says a gay furry version of the room. Need. Chip says there's a gay version called Ben and Arthur. Remy says, oh, that's not your cake. Chip says, wow, this game actually makes grabbing oil slightly smarter. Slightly. Look, everything is Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Chrysler. Merry Crisis. And you know what? That's what that's gonna be horribly appropriate this year. Merry Crisis indeed. Oh, it's locked. Okay. Oof. Gonna have to go down manually. Shrapek says you will be baked, and then will be K, and there will be carry. Yeah. You will be K. You will be ah! You will be baked, and then there will be cake. Chip says in the PS1 version to get the ingredients, you actually visit a Diagon Alley. Why? You don't do that in in uh, the actual book. Wait, did I ever recover from um from the duel? Oh, yep, I did. There they are. Hello, Crab. Hello, Goyle. Hello, Mario. What do you want? We just wondered if you'd be interested in a bit of a wizard duel. Why would we, you... Wah! Why would we want to duel you two? There's a chocolate cake in it for the winner. But if you don't think you can beat us without Draco being here... We don't need Draco to beat Gryffindors. See you in the dueling club. Swipex says the music on floors 4 to 7 is so twinkly. It is extra twinkly. I like the version on the lower floors better. It's uh, more subdued. Chip says that's because the upper floors are closer to the stars. Ah. Insert the, the noise I make uh, for Prince Beasley's hair every time he flips it. Ah. Twinkly. You ready? Let's go. Expelliarmus. Oh wow. That actually destroys. Zero. Says, I'm this what? I'm the snake lax. I speak for the snakes. The snakes say you're a baby. Fair, I'll take that. Oof. 
Um, it's time. Time for the pack, Red. Red Nip, sorry. Oh, he died because of Red. Says, oh shit, a rat jumps. Ship says, Imagine die of rat. Imagine. Fumos. Fumos. Oh, I think it's like uh, escape. 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 Red dice. I want some red dice. I'm so close. Flipendo. This is gonna take forever. Oof. Somebody's gonna die. Of fun. Only 15 points? Whoa, okay, what a waste. Okay, fuck it. Let's put everything into this. One more! Fail! Nope! Oh, I was so close to getting experience out of this. Beat us fair and square. Taught us a lesson, that's for sure. Here's your cake. Chip says, hurry up and die so I can stuff this cake in your cake hole and rip out your hair. <laughs> grunt cake. Cake grunt. Really? They said the word grunt? <laughs> uh, bop. Uh, bop. Quick, let's hide them. I can't believe they have special sprites for this. Some time later. Crab hair, goil hair. Oh, those two were heavy. Let's get back to the hair. Let's let's get the hair back to morning myrtles. No punctuation. That was very silly. She's doing it in the actual toilet.
Here are all here are the bits of crab and goyle. By the way, who are you going to be? Millicent Bullstrode. I plucked I, I plucked some hair from her, her jumper when she wasn't looking. Now to see if I did it right. Chip says that's gross, Hermione. Shoyback says, Ew, are you trying to get cholera? I think that's the last the least of their worries. But Ah, disgusting. Perfect, you two look exactly like Crab and Goyle. Hermione, you're a cat. And you're a couple of pigs, but that only means it worked. No, seriously, you have fur, whiskers, pointy ears, everything. Oh no, it must have been cat's hair I plucked from her jumper. I still can't believe this. How do you make a mistake like that? Chris says, for prim and proper Hermione, you do nasty shit. And Chris says, furry bait. You can't go like that. You're right. You two go, I'll stay. Maybe washing my face will do some good. How are you going to wash? Oh. Never mind. Let's go. What are you waiting for, Harry? You have to find Draco before the potion wears off. Chip says, lol, that bit crushed cat screech. It's, it's very bit crushed. Okay, check this out. Are you two staying out of trouble? I didn't think so. There's um, special reactions. Do I look terrified enough? Shall I cry and whimper? I know you enjoy that. Why aren't you with your mate Draco in the dungeon? There's dialogue for this. You Slytherin bullies get back to the dungeon where you belong. Oof. TF. I mean, in the movie, it's definitely not Poof TF. Strybex says, check your status. Nope, it doesn't change. Rebecca says, oh, that would have been a nice touch. Well, this game kind of pushed itself to the limit. Considering this was in 2002, 2003, and the Game Boy Color was basically on the way out. Oh no, here comes Snape. Don't look at him, maybe he'll just walk on by. Crab, go up. Uh, no, go ill, crab, come here. We know that slithering is down here, all we have to do is find it. Oh, did he just slide backwards? He actually slid backwards. Oh man, can somebody clip that? Er, um, grunt. Enjoying the holidays, boys? Oh, grunt. Grunt, grunt. I'm not surpri I'm surprised you're not with Draco. You three lads are thick as thieves. Mm hmm. Grunt. Grunt, no one's thicker than us? <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about this line. <laughs> so 
Stripe Vex's Moonwalk! Yeah! <laughs> Chris's thick voice! Oh no! <laughs> out of context! Completely out of context! Hold on, I need to screenshot this. <laughs> oh, I, I love this. I hate it, but I love it. Oh boy, um... Well, off with you now. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Grunt, grunt, thick, 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 grunt, thick. Oh, straight back, thanks for the clip. Uh, I'd rather not think about what he wouldn't do. At least we know we make a convincing grab and go a crab and goil. Let's find the slithering common room. There's actually a line in the book after they use the polyjuice potion that just, uh, that just stayed with me forever. Oh, it's not this. Yep. I forget. This is the uh, room for the ghosts. The ghosts. Oh, really? It's not even hidden or anything. It's just... Oh. Uh-oh. Oh boy, it's starting! I mean, it has it has gone for a while without it. If it starts crashing, then we know the game is just not happy anymore. It doesn't want to be played. Strybex says... No, Chip said, oh no, Strybex says, damn it. Um, Chris says, so don't lust over the dead woman and instead of being nice to the child, you become a dick and do bad, bad shit. He did do bad shit. Oh, are we gonna get a second moonwalk and, um... Oh no, he didn't do it this time. No one's thicker than us! Bye. YouTube been or er, mostly showing people about come with me to the common room I have something to show you good I mean right pure blood really that's a password fuck yeah fuck off oh damn it oh man I think the game is just giving up now The game is finally giving up. It doesn't want to be played. At least I saved after that. Here's what I want to show you, the newest Daily Prophet. It says Arthur Weasley was fined 850 sickles for enchanting a car, ha ha ha. Well, why are you laughing? Oh, snort snort. I'm surprised the Prophet hasn't covered the attacks here. Dumbledore is probably hushing it up. Maybe he thinks he's protecting Potter, as if he could possibly be this leader in oh, be his leader in his hair. We know who it really is, right? Are you serious? Nobody knows. If I knew who it was, I could help them. Don't know why they are keeping it a secret. You don't suspect anyone or know anything about the chamber? No, and father won't speak about the last time the chamber was opened. I don't know why Mudblood was killed then. Hope it's Granger this time. 
why you er, may have a point. Ooh, flickering! What's wrong with you? Your sprite just flickered there. Yes, Goyle, you are not looking yourself. No, not looking your. No, wait, what? No, not yourself at all. I thought. Okay, here's the thing. I thought Crab was the was the redhead. No, no, no. Um. Wait, 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 wait. No, I, th I, th I thought Harry was Goyle and and Ron was Crab. Why are you talking like that? What's going on? Oh, it's my stomach. Yes. Ow. It hurts so much. I'll take you to the hospital wing. No need to come along, Draco. Indeed there isn't. I hate the sight of sick people. Oof. Chris says he didn't kill Dumbledore and essentially caused the end of the world. Ah, fuck. How many more do we give it? Okay, there's something that I wanted to do, actually. I'm actually kind of glad it crashed, because I was going to check if there was anything here of value. Yep! says, oh dear, Chips is speaking of the ends of the world. And Chris uh, did the sooner later emote. That was close. We better get back to Morning Myrtles. Yeah, I know. I got the... Okay, save. I'm, at least I'm saving uh, uh, often. So there's that. How did it go? Malfoy is in the hair, and he doesn't know who is. So we're no further than we were before. I wish we'd save some cake, I'm starving. I could do with a bit of fish myself. Oh... Okay. Ooh, that's better. Being a Slytherin itched. Wait a minute, what's this? a diary, an old one, property of Tom Marbolo Riddle. Who is he? I heard the name before. I saw a trophy he won for special services to the school, but that was uh, 50 years ago. Then how did this get here now? Might as well f take it along, I suppose. We better get back to Gryffindor before lights out. Wait, I can't go out looking like this. How long will it take you to change back to normal? The Polyjuice... The Polyjuice potion was... Oh. Oh. What is that?
Tribeck says, it was Tom Bombardil. Chris says, imagine reading Harry Potter and realizing you're a furry thanks to this scene. And Chip says, the sinks turned into a Christmas tree. Uh, I'm gonna give it one more. I'm gonna give it one more go. If it freezes, it's time to uh, change games. Chris says, Merry Christmas, everyone. I forgot I could do that. Yeah, the Polyjuice Potion wasn't meant for animal transformations. It could take weeks to change back. Well, you can't just stay in this bedroom for the rest of Christmas break. Ron's right, let's get to... Let's... Let's... L-E-T-S, no apostrophe. Get you up to the hospital wing. Maybe Madame Pomfrey can turn you back to normal. I'm sorry, there's nothing I can do to speed the transformation. What am I supposed to do? I can't very well go around looking like a cat. You'll just have to stay here until the potion wears off. Don't tell anybody else what happened to me. I don't want anybody to know. Your secret? You are... You are secrets! You are secrets! You are secret safe with us, Hermione. Yes, this is English we are speaking now. Chip says, why the Harry walking? Why the Harry? You are secrets. We'll come and visit you every day. And we'll bring, bring plenty of milk and tuna. Is that species? -ish? Chris says, and later Hermione finds out she liked being a cat. I think that's why she got crook, crook shanks. This play looks terrible, what's going on? Professor Lockhart is sponsoring a Valentine's Day party. Oh yeah, this was in the game. This was only in the book and in the game. He's probably just in it for the cards. I wonder if he'll get as many from others as he gets from himself. Oh, he's wearing a pink thing. Attention please, first I would like to thank the 46 people who sent me valentines. Hermione, don't tell me you were one of the 46. Of course, um, not. And as an added surprise, these card carrying cupids will be delivering valentines throughout the day. Good grief, let's, fi let's hide before something embarrassing happens. Chris says, oh, Jesus Christ, Avada Kedavra Streisand. Kabarbra Streisand. <laughs> oh, man, I hate this. This Valentine's cake is giving me heart burn. <laughs> <laughs> Professor Lockhart has quite a flair for interior decoration. This is a really great party. Is it? Happy Valentine's Day, Harry. I can't talk now, Harry. I'm writing Valentine's to give to Professor Lockhart. Isn't this a great party? Wow. You have some crazy hair. Professor Crazy Hair. Am I the only one? Oh man, yeah, I, I feel like I'm the only person that actually watched uh, Jackety Jack, but yeah. Chris says, I wanna fucking die, so yeah, great party. 
Chip says, oh yeah, Chip says, his eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. His hair is as dark as a blackboard. I wish he was mine. He's really divine, the hero who conquered the Dark Lord. Yeah? That's in the book? Chip says, I watched it too. Enjoying the party, Harry? I wasn't even talking to you! Look, look, look at the power of Lockhart. I was not even talking to him, and he's like already, yep. I've done, I've, I've done, I've done myself this time. Let's get out of here. Our Potter. Oh no. Bye. <laughs> Is your name Potter? Look at that guy. Uh, no, nothing like it. I'm Bartolomo Mashing Spoon. Asking where formality, I know, you're Harry Potter. Here's a special Valentine's poem for a year. His eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. His hair is black. No, it's dark as a blackboard. I just read this, why am I having trouble? I think he's divine, I wish he was mine. The boy who defeated the Dark Lord. Typics customary, but you're look too humiliated, so I'll let it pass this time. Bye. <laughs> that was interesting. I can't believe he has like they made that sprite just for that. That's great. I love that. Chip says I watched it too. And Chip says it was actually in the PS1 version too. The dwarfs dressed as cupids actually sing it. Strybex is another cursed sprite. Oh, I didn't get that one, but I mean, I didn't like think it was like very cursed, but that Cupid was always funny to me. And Chip linked the video. I always found those cupids really funny. Okay, can I go now? Oh wow. Harry, I never noticed before, but your eyes are as green as a fresh pickled toad. And your hair is as dark as a blackboard. Will all of you just forget about that poem, please? Haha, <laughs> well, Ginny, I don't think Potter liked your Valentine very much. Bye. Ha ha ha. XD. I think I'll go. I'll go to bed early tonight. Maybe I can study Riddle's diary for a while before the other students arrive. I'll see you in the morning, Harry. Good night. You survived the embarrassing love poem and the Valentine dwarves. Oh boy. Zach, hi, hello. Zach says, any new additions to the wall? Ginny and her poetry. And shout out Pixelated Draco. Hi, Zach. The game already crashed several times, so I think this is the one to be the last go. If it crashes again, I'm switching. I mean, it did well for like an hour or so. And then it just started crashing like crazy. Oh man, playing this with a GameCube controller is not ideal. I wish the GameCube controller had a better D-pad. It's, it's really sucky. Zach says, if only there were an elevator at Hogwarts. This is amazing. Wattlebird.
There's something odd about this diary, Ron. Being in the water on Myrtle's floor didn't harm it a bit. It's just an old di diary, Harry. You're probably wasting your time. But if you find anything interesting, I'll be in the common room. Maybe I should write in it and see what happens. My name is Harry Potter. There's more writing appearing on its own. My name is Tom Marble or Riddle. There's something you should see. What? Ah! I have been isekai This looks like Dumbledore's office, but who are they? The way things are, Tom, I can't let you stay at Hogwarts during the summer. That must be Tom Riddle. But then I have to go back to that orphanage. I'm sorry, but with the recent attacks in the school, it wouldn't be safe for you here. But if the attacks stopped, if the person was caught... Do you know something about them, Tom? No, sir. I was just asking. Thank you for your time. We are in the dungeons by Snape's classroom. There you go, little feller. Back in your hiding place, then. Whoa, wait, 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 what happened to the sprite? Whoa, what happened to his sprite? Uh, hold on. Zack says, what's with the giant bubble? Mm. Chip says, do not question the giant bubble. And Chip says, isekai into the past. Zack says, wow, that picture of Tom doesn't look evil or anything. Chris says, so if a wizard has a wheel shared, then Hogwarts is gonna get sued. Zach says, uh, Hogwarts is getting sued no matter what, Chris. Chip says, the... What? The... Is in the 40s or something. They don't care about accessibility. Strybeck says, 1942 to 55 to be precise. Okay. Oh man, the sprites! What the fuck is going on? The game is breaking! Hello, Rubius. Hello, Mario. Rubius? That's... That's Hagrid? That must be before he was expelled. What's he talking to? What? Hello, Tom. What brings you out at this time of night? Oh no, he was cute. Actually, you do. It's all over, Rubius. Look at that! He's cute! His sprite is actually cute. Zack says, oh no, their heads have been cu half cut off. Young Hagrid's um, sprite is the opposite of a cursed sprite. I'm sure you meant no harm. I know you like to take care of unusual creatures. You didn't know it was evil. I think just went too far. Someone died. You think I had something to do with that girl dying? I never. Not you, that thing you've been feeding. The girl's parents will be here tomorrow. The least we can do is kill the beast that killed their daughter. He never killed no one. Stand aside, Rubius. Run! Harry? Harry, are you alright? It was Hagrid. Hagrid opened the Chamber of Secrets 50 years ago. Lol. Zack says John Hagrid looks like young Rick. Wait, really? Chris says break the game, break the game! Zack says Hagrid can't open his front door, let alone the Chamber of Secrets. Potter, don't forget there's a Quidditch match today. See you on the pitch. Yay, filler! You should report the diary being stolen, you know? No, it could hurt Hagrid. I still can't believe what I saw. Kill this time. Let me rip. Dear. The voice again! Didn't you hear it? Nope, nothing. I just realized something. I have to go to the library. I'll see you later. Bye. I wonder what that was about. 
We'll know soon enough. Let's get to the Quidditch pitch. Yay! Strybex says save, Chip says save, thanks for the save. Chris says Harry's a modern moron. Zach says actually young Hagrid looks like that picture of you with the really nice red boots. And Chris says trust the ominous book of secrets. Zach says uh, Hermione is going to get stoned. <laughs> Chris says 420 LMAO. Wait, which picture of me with the red boots? I don't know any picture of me with red boots. Picture of me with the red boots, picture of me with the red boots, picture of me with the red boots. I'm trying to remember. There you are, Harry. The game is just about to start. Attention please, today's match is cancelled. All students report back to their common rooms. Except for you, Potter and Weasley. Follow me. What? I came here all the way for nothing. This may come as a bit of a shock. There have been two more attacks. One is Penelope Clearwater, the Ravenclaw Prefect. Uh, the other is... Your friend Hermione Granger. Dun dun dun. Completely unexpected twist. Hermione! They were found near the library. Do you know why Hermione was carrying the small mirror found beside her? No, Professor. Report to the Gryffindor common room immediately. I will be there shortly. Why would you ask if. If somebody wearing a... Why would you ask about somebody wearing... Uh, I mean, carrying a mirror? There's nothing weird about that. Chris says, Yes, Hagrid, the mixed race lovable guy is the bad guy. Mm -hmm. You are more on Harry. Well, you never know. You never know. Oh, shoot. Snake. Kill. Snake. Snake in fire. On fire. Or maybe not. Sorry about that. I was checking something. I really can't find a picture of myself in red boots that I showed. I 
can never even check this place, but whatever. Chip says cross species more like it. Oh no, we lost our mind. Oh, wait, what? You know what? This sucks. Because guess what? That's it. Once you lose Hermione, you never get to use three players. Uh, well, three, um... Uh, like you never get to have three party members in your in your in the game again. That's it. And the game just gets harder because of that. Because now it's only Harry and half competent Ron with his with his RNG wand. This is when the game gets frustrating. These are the new emergency rules. Obey them at all times without question. You must be in the Gryffindor common room by 6 p.m. and stay here until morning. Quidditch is suspended. You will be escorted by teachers everywhere you go. If the culprit behind these attacks is not caught soon, Hogwarts may have to close. Anyone with information, please contact me. That is all. Are you really giving this speech to just the two of them? What are we going to do? Do you think they suspect Hagrid? Ron, we have to talk to him about this now. It's already past lights out. The halls and grounds will be guarded. They're sure to catch us. We'll use my dad's old invisibility cloak. Nobody will be able to see us. I'll get the, tro the cloak out of my trunk. Chris says, and one of them has a crutch. God, Chris is getting upset. Chip says, I only just realized Hermione sits out the finale of the second book in the hospital while Ron sits out the third book's finale in the hospital. Saturn, hi! Saturn says, holy crap, I remember this. Saturn says, got stuck on Aragog. Same! Same! Aragog! Okay, I think... This is where this is where the game is gonna end because we are about to go into the most frustrating and uh, terribly, terribly hard part of the game. Chris, uh, no, Chip says Hogwarts put COVID restrictions in place. <laughs> okay, now let's go find Hagrid. Look at my cool transparent sprite. Isn't it awesome? Um, Saturn, I didn't know you had played this game. Cool, finally somebody that has played this. Hi. Chris says, and Harry is ignoring the rules like most people who were told about COVID restrictions. Oh, look, I'm even more transparent thanks to the ball. Saturn says, yeah, my brother had it. This game is amazing. Also, I like how everything looks at night. Check how nice everything looks. We should have done this more often in the game. They should have made this like a stealth minigame or something. But nope. It's just a free walk outside. Saturn says, did you ever play the PC Harry Potter games? No, not really. I know about them because I saw people play them on YouTube, but I never played them myself.
Chris says PS1 Hagrid is not amused at the idea of stealth in a Game Boy Color game. And Saturn says floating fart clouds. Yeah, I remember. Uh, that's what they look like. Boo, bitch! Hagrid, did you hear about Hermione? Yes, I heard. Sit down, I'll fix us some tea and we can talk. We'll talk, sorry. Knock, 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 says the, uh, the doorknob. Someone's at the door, you two hide. Can you maybe get, like, in the corner, ha Harry? You're gonna bump into somebody. Come in. Hello, Hagrid. Hello, Mario. This is Cornelius Fudge, the Minister of Magic. That's Dad's boss! Dun dun dun! Saturn says, there was a part in the PC game where you had to be sneaky and hide against Filch. I'm surprised they didn't add that to this game. There's a lot of castle to hide around. At Bad business, Hagrid. Four attacks. The Ministry had to act. I never... You know I never... Professor, history is against you, Hagrid. So is the Board of Governors. Who is what? What is the Board of Governors? Uh, Chip says Cornelia fudged. Strybeck says it's the mis it's the mystery of magic. Cornella fuck. Chip says Cornella fuck. Zach says the Board of Governors of Hogwarts. Of Hogwarts, really? Huh. Um, wait, what was I saying? Oh yeah, Cornetto, Cornetto fudge flavor. I want a Cornetto now. Taking Hagrid away will solve nothing, Ministry. If Hagrid's innocent, we'll say no more about it. But he must come with me for now. Doing your duty, I see, fudge. You, out of my house. Is that what this is? I came only because I was told the headmaster was here. Albus Dumbledore, you have been suspended by order of the Hogwarts Governors. Whoa. What threats did ye make to scare the Governors? Ye take away Professor Dumbledore and no one will stand a chance. All these attacks, oh dear. And you can't seem to stop them. Calm down, Hagrid. The Governors have spoken and I will step down. But I will only truly have left Hogwarts when those loyal to me are gone. And those who ask for help shall always have it. And if anyone wants to find out what's going on, they best follow the spiders. That's all I'm saying. How obscure. Time to go. Zach says, Cornelio fuck and the dead dealers. Saturn says, Hagrid and his slang and slurring. Um, we might as well close this school now. With Dumbledore go ah, with Dumbledore gone, the attacks will only get worse. Well, there's nothing more that we can do tonight. We'd better get back to Hogwarts before McGonagall finds out we're missing. Ta -da. And here we go. We are about to go into the hardest part of the game. Look at those, at these spiders. They are moving away from Hogwarts in a straight line. Straight toward the Forbidden Forest! That's what Hagrid meant. We have to follow them. Okay, let's go. That's not a straight line. That's like a line with a lot of jagged edges. Oh, and this is where I save. Okay, I cannot, I repeat, I cannot save inside of there. If I do, I am sealing my fate. says Hagrid says the F word. Saturn says follow the spooders? Why couldn't we follow the butterflies? Chip says apparently a useful strategy for bosses is Pretificus Totalus plus Marcus ad nauseum. Saturn says isn't there one more path before Aragog? Yeah but I think that if you go in here... Oh wait no you can you can actually leave okay. Follow the spooders. Wait, isn't there like... I remember that this was pointless and yeah, you can just go this way. And this way, whoa. I'm gonna see if I can do it with my current HP. 
or experience or whatever. Please, please move. I don't want to deal with like losing HP. Really? Okay. So going around is pointless because the spiders are basically just here. Chris is more like Era Era Gog. And Zach says this one, Rick. Hold on. Hold on. That one, the picture of... Yeah, I remember that. Gosh, that is old. Wait, I think I heard something. Ron, look out! Ah! Aragog, Aragog. What is it? I was sleeping. Humans. If neither of them is Hagrid, kill them. We are friends of Hagrid's! He's in trouble! That's why we're here! Ah! What kind of trouble? They think he's been sending up a powerful creature to attack students at Hogwarts. The same thing happened years ago. They thought I was the creature that lived in the Chamber of Secrets and that Hagrid set me free. It wasn't true. So you didn't come from the Chamber of Secrets? No. Hagrid bought me from a traveler, fed me and raised me. He protected me when I was blamed for the girl's death in the bathroom. Do you know what did kill her? Yes, the creature that spiders feared most. I begged Kagri to let me go when I learned it was in the castle. I will not speak its name, even to Kagri. How convenient! Saturn says roar. Uh, says humans, gross. Uh, Chip says, ah! Why am I not surprised? Zach says, the spider ate Ron's face. Chris says, insert the intro to the lion sleeps tonight. Well, we'll just be going then. Thank you. I think not. I cannot deny my children fresh meat when it walks into our midst. Goodbye, friends of Hagrid. Fresh meat? He means us! Get out of here! Here comes the worst fucking battle in this game. See? Paralyzed from the start. I have not done anything. Oh, finally, okay. I wonder if this is gonna work. No, I shouldn't do that. Because he has... Wait, what? Th what the strategy then? Strategy, huh? Chris says the e e bambuwe, a bambuwe, bambuwe. She says petrificus totalis plus mucus ad nauseum. Okay, but I'm not gonna do that with one because cut the cheese. Oh, that paralyzed him actually. Petrificus? Oh, 
okay. That didn't do anything! This is her since it's babies. Wow. Chip says Aragog is male. His mate was a female named Magog. Increases. Oh. I thought it was Mosag. He says we're gonna die. Zex says Magog and tips cap. Free says no. Wow. Absolute curb stump. Uh straight back says Mosek makes most more sense to me since it, it sounds like goss gossamer. Chris says you're grounded. Chip says you're right. It's it is Mosek. Yeah, I basically I re I do remember that from my uh, Harry Potter complimentary material book. I guess I can't go back from here, so I could uh, save. I guess I can save. Saturn says, yeah, lots and lots of training to get stronger to defeat him. Where the image stays and pretty much just the fangs move. Well, yeah. <laughs> Zack says, I remember that from my Harry Potter erotica. Okay, check this out. Skipping out a big chunk, a big chunk of everything by just ignoring the spiders. Oh shit. Oof, nope. <coughs> Bye. Wait, I think I heard something. Ah. Chris says, this feels like it's not gonna be fun. It is not gonna be fun. Zex says, you're unable to escape. And yet I still escape. Zex says, press escape again. Well, okay. <laughs> I hate that. I hate the string shot. Don't, don't drop your cummies on me. 80... 80 <coughs> Red nip. Okay, that paralyzes it because look it's not moving. No wait, it's it is moving 80 again Okay, fine petrificus bitch Chris says ah Zach like says understandable have a nice say Mucus. And then what? Incendio? I think Incendio would do nicely. Just burn! <laughs> nope. Not that. Vermilius? Tria. I think I need to heal. Well, here's the problem. There's nothing that heals enough. And it's not like I can use card attacks. I only have three of them. 
restores all of Harry's magic. Three says dead. <laughs> yeah, we are kind of fucked. Perdimilius Tria. I'm gonna experiment and see what affects him the most. One. 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 Oof. Oh wait, no, it's not save, it's load! <coughs> I must load. <coughs> Cause then I have to walk all the way across. I wish the, the game knew, like, yeah, you have seen this before. Just, uh, save, save time. <coughs> save. Oh, I, di <coughs> I did not save over there. I don't think it's possible at my current, I'm at my current level. Tribex says, ha ha ha, one! <laughs> oh man, how many times are we gonna have to do this cutscene again? Okay, the main problem is that Ron seems to die a lot. So, according to what I think can be done... Oh boy, here we go. Chris says, oh god, the worst idea came to my mind. You beat them and then the game crashes. Strayback says, don't jinx it, Chris. Look, I'm paralyzed. I can't do shit except just play with the resolution. Look at that. Fumos, bitch. Can't see me. Oh man, I should cast that first. Oh, I forgot Fumos fucks with the uh, with the game's um, graphics code stuff. Something. I'm not sure what's going on there. Chris says, "Oh, emotes. Um, not like this. Not like this. Salt, salt, salt." Wow. strategy Oh no that that is not the strategy that's a, that's a rat That is not the strategy that is in fact a rat Okay this is where I should save Uh, 
how many times until we give up? Chris says, at least if you die, you, got ba you go back to Hagrid's hut. Yeah? Chris says, oh shit, a rat. But like, the game is basically telling you, like, get good. Get good! Grind. Grind like crazy. Fumos, bitch. You never saw me here. Petrified or not? Did it actually fail? Did fucking Petrificus Totalius fail? Chris did say, "Oh shit, a rat." So there's that. Like it's good to have mu mucus at nauseum going on because. It actually starts to um, starts to drain the HP in some way. Oh, why don't I have Fumos? Why does Ron have it? Why does that do so much damage? That makes no sense at all. Chip says, several guides I found suggest being a level 32 or so. Yeah. What level am I? Nine. Teen. Nineteen. I want to tell you people, this game really does not encourage uh, leveling, because up to this point, we basically just made the do with just going around like we were. This game essentially treats um, leveling, well no, it treats battling in general as something optional until a plot point comes. It is really annoying. So, yeah, here's the thing. When I first played the game, back then, way back then as a kid, this is where I stopped. This is where I was, I, I was just stuck. This is where I just said, nope, nope, not worth it. And I abandoned the game. Eventually, I ended up losing, losing the cartridge when I was like 10 or so. I was in 4th grade. Uh, yeah, I was in 4th grade. I'm not sure if I, if I told Hoot Nebula about this, who was in my, in, my, in my same class in 4th grade. We were together in 4th grade. And um, yeah, I just lost this game and I never saw it again. And then later I managed to hunt down a copy of the game. I bought it, I played it, and I did finish it, but not without grinding, because I did grind a lot. Like, a lot, lot. Chris says, no, no more, please. Chip says, let's put it to bed here. Yeah, I don't think I can do much more for this game so yep this is me giving up officially bye okay for the next segment we do have something pending and I think you know what it is we have uh, a pending affair that we left 
last week. Stripex says back to the convenience store. Yep, back to the convenience store. We have one segment more to finish. I hope everybody's ready. I mean, it's good. I wanted to f fill up the uh, the last part of the stream with something that wouldn't take too long. Chris says last time that dumb bitch drowned. Okay, so let me get stuff ready. Let me get this thing ready. Where's my Where's my 3DS? My 3DS with capture card enabled, which is very rare. Such a valuable piece of hardware. Oh, Chip says, well, now my parents have fallen asleep. I can do whatever I want. What should I do? It's midnight, so my friends are asleep. And the TV showing nothing but static. I know. I'll go to the convenience store. Did you just post the translated lyrics for Convini? Convenience store. That silly, silly um, thing. All right, let me get my 3DS fired up and... Chip says yes. All right, let's move rooms. Whoosh. All right, here we go. Let me just change what we are playing. Just give me a minute. There we go. We're ready. Uh, Chris is... Oh. Posting a Mike Hogu. You're like the person that uses the most emotes, Chris. Okay, let's get this over with. Intent. This is intent. So last time we did something and then we did something and now we're gonna do something else. Let's go! Based on my, exper uh, based on my experience so far, there must be a device associated with the entrance. Oh yeah, I forgot. Our, the player character here is a, is a himbo. First, let's check the machinery. I might be able to find something. 
Oh shit, we actually have music. Why is only this magazine left? Is there something important about it? Oh, this is actually important. Great, I'm gonna take this one. Let's take a look at the next page. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> Strapex says it's a dancing threes from Lost. Oh wow, that is a that is a deep cut of a reference. <laughs> the music stopped, but we have background sounds. Okay, so Gemini to um Scorpio to uh, Virgo to Pisces. Chip says Eple epileptic trees. And Chris says, I do a ton of most things on the streams. Also, that is a weird ass Capricorn there. Okay, this is gonna be this is bound to be an interesting puzzle. Only this is left. What does it mean? Eat this and satisfy my hunger. Is that it? Chewing gum. I pick up the stick of gum. It looks new. Of course it looks new! What do you want? Chewed gum? This dumb fuck. Did our store sell toy cars? This is the only one left. Maybe I should keep it just in case. I appreciate that at least this game has background noise. Instead of just uh... Instead of just silence. It's a common toy car. Hmm, everything is off. Like this, the machines nearby won't work. This should also be unresponsive if the breakers have tripped. Let's press and check. It's turned on. Does that mean the situation was not due to the heart to the breakers? I was about to say heartbreakers. No, but this plug has access to electricity. There might be a puzzle on the machine, so I should leave everything on. Hey, they were reset. What does it mean? Can't I simply turn them on? Nope, it's in some kind of order, genius. Chris says, is it opened? Could have something inside the gum package. Mm, but it didn't. The power for the microwave is off. Is this because of the breaker? Hmm? The inside of the fryer has changed. What is this murky water? I can't see well, but it looks like something is at the bottom. I'd rather not touch it, but let's put a hand in and check. It's strange, there is nothing. It looks like there is something, but it's not clear enough from here. The water is dirty, but I need to see what's in there. Maybe I can find something. The cash register has different power supply for security reasons. It should work, even if the breakers are tripped. Apparently the monitor of the cash register has remained the same since the last time I touched it. That means it's not related to the lock on the entrance door, I guess. Wow. Hmm? Only the chicken is left. I wonder why. I won't risk eating it, but I'll keep it just in case. Greasy chicken. I took out the chicken. It's a piece of chicken. Grease is oozing it. Yep, it's greasy. The power of the ATM seems to be off. Is this because the plug is pulled out or because the barriers have the, the breakers have tripped? The entrance door is not responding. It should open if the sensor was working properly. The door now is gone, I can't open it like this. Hmm? 
there is a key inside. Isn't this the key for the locker? But it seems to be stuck on the other side of the glass. I can't take it out like this. Can I remove the glass? I was thinking of chewing up the gum and then sticking the glass on it and pulling it up. Or maybe chicken. Or maybe toy car. There are panels, a sign that is used for calculation that is drawn. What is that? What's all that about? That 5 plus... Wait, no, it's a 1. And this is a VI. So this is 6. 1 plus 6 minus 3. 1 plus 6 is 7. Minus 3, 4. Plus an R is drawn, an E is drawn, an R is. Use scans are randomly placed. What's this? Graffiti is drawn on them. For heaven's sake, these are for sale. So, 4 plus T H R E E 3 equals 7. What? There's something on this shelf. What is that? Chris says Pem this time. Well, there's no parenthesis, so it's fine. There's something on the shelf and I can't pick it up. That's great. The shelf won't open yet. Not all the drinks have been stolen, but it's strange how they have been stacked. Is there a point to this? There is a point. It's 1 plus 6 equals 7 minus 3 equals 4 plus 3 written like that T H R W E. So that should equal 7 again. No, the door won't open. I can't go further from here. But no, I'm trying to go back. Oh, it's a bottle of ketchup. My favorite kind, too. I should definitely keep this. I picked up the ketchup bottle. It's a ketchup bottle. It has only a small amount left. Use it on the chicken. Put the ketchup on the chicky. What am I supposed to use the ketchup for? Microwave the ketchup? I know I'm supposed to press this in some order, but I am not sure in which order. Good, the power should be on now. I'll check around. So I guess, yep, it was the number of sides of the shapes. So I went with circle, one side, I guess. Or infinite, depends on how you see it. Triangle has three, square has four, pentagon has five, I just guessed. Good, the power should be on now, I'll check around. Hmm, what? I hear the photocopier working. Is this plug for that? I can't take anything for granted anymore, I go check the photocopier. Okay, let's go, yay. I didn't find any damage on the body of the photocopier. It looks fine to use. I picked up the paper that was printed out. Paper, it says June. June is written on it. Chip says, don't let Pikachu know. Chris says, ketchup, 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 ketchup. Z 
Zach says June is an anagram for June. I mean, yeah. But what can I use that for? The power for the microwave is on. Now I can use it. Now we can microwave some uh, chicken, I guess. No. Come. Car. Ketchup. June. Okay then, fuck off. Strapex says maybe something to do with the Zodiac. Um, mm. Chris says if you have a razor, you can pray that glass open. I don't have it. Let's talk one more time. That's strange. There seems to be nothing here. Maybe I should fry. Well, it's not frying. Uh, I just know the Zodiac has a line going from Gemini to Scorpio, then Virgo, then Pisces. But that doesn't tell me much. Um, ATM. It says, please insert your card. Would anything happen if I put it in? Uh, should I put in a card? I don't have a card. I have June. <laughs> Insert gum. Chip says put the chicken in the ATM, lol. Okay. One of these days that's gonna work. Nope. So, yeah, these do not tell me much. I have that image in my thing anyways, so I don't need to check this again. And the other page is just this. And I already have this down. Pisces... Then Scorpio, then Virgo, then Pisces. Chris says the KFC card doesn't work. Shelf is empty. Shelf is empty. Let's go to the office. Wait, we can? Oh, fuck off. Fuck this. Hmm, did the power turn off? The monitors are black. They were on not too long ago, weren't they? It doesn't seem to turn on, even if I press the button. What's going on? Uh, the monitors are black. They were on not too long ago. I know. Zex says, corresponds to what months? I remember, if I remember right, there was nothing in this refrigerator. It was a bit disturbing. Let's open it again. Indeed, something is wrong. It doesn't have the same depth. And we're in their holes before. Uh, it's bothering me, so let's keep the door open. It looks like power is off, so it should be fine like this. The electricity wouldn't turn on even if I touch it because the breakers are tripped. No, it seems to be locked. Is there a key? The situation no one can blame me for opening this. There's no one who uses this locker anyway. There's nothing inside now. It scared me before. I wonder if I should also lock my locker. As expected, one open, but there is a fin fingerprint authentication lock. If I remember right, this is the manager's locker, that number is 01. I'm sure it's the manager who trapped me. He can't be here at any time without causing any suspicion. Nobody can set up the puzzle on the safe but the manager. Maybe there is a clue in this locker. 
I don't know whose spring fingerprint was registered, but first let's look for the pre fingerprint. Blah, blah, blah. blah. Strayback says, now the light puzzle has 16 panels. And Chris says, no. Chip says, try rubbing the greasy chicken on the paper. I tried. It should, like, highlight um, other items that I can use with it. I'm just gonna grab the chicken on the fingerprint reader. No, the door won't open. I can't go further from here. There is nothing here. There is nothing in here except the chicken. It's empty. What happened to the other food? It died. Oh, I didn't want to go there. Chris's fingerprint scanner. Oof. Magnet. And boom. Open. Okay. Uh, what am I missing here? Uh, like nothing fits with each other. Each other thing. Shelf is empty. Items used to be prominently displayed. The microwave has to be for something, but I already tried it with all five things that I have. So, no. Not really. The entrance door won't open. The ATM wants a card. I checked that thing. How do I open this? I already tried the other thing, so... Nope. Impossible to get outside from the bathroom. I sh uh, I checked these. One plus six minus three plus T-H-E-E-R. T-H-R-E-E. -E. Um, Chip says anything in the freezer. I I checked. I clicked the freezer. The shelf is empty. That's what it says for the for the freezer. Zach says let's look at the doors with the sodas again. Okay. Chris says, do you have to pull the microwave door open? I may have to use a microwave. But I, and none of the five items that I have does anything. Zach says red, yellow, green, blue, blue must be an important sequence. Yeah, I suppose. I can't really do much. I can't get the items on the shelf. I assume this opens if I do something with it. What do I even want to do with greasy chicken? I assume the, the chicken goes in the microwave, but... Nope. The fryer. What to do with the fryer? I basically already tried all the items. There's no response even though the button was pressed. Is the power off? Is it? A 
pentagon is marked. I'm sure there were no shapes before. Triangular shape is marked. No shapes. Square is marked. No shapes. Circle mark. No shapes. There's no need to turn on off the switch anymore. It would be too much trouble if it turns off again. Chip says, I'm guessing the greasy chicken is for revealing the fingerprint somehow. Is it? So, should I just touch everything with chicken? Chris says, when in doubt, tug and pull on everything. <laughs> yeah? Basically. I am just using the chicken on everything. I'm using the chicken on everything. I'm using the chicken for everything. There should be fingerprints on the laptop, but nothing else. Grab the prints, and I think I have some idea here. Never mind. The game won't take my logic. Zach says there's a mark by the plugs that look like a crescendo. What? Really? I am looking at this. It has holes. Look like, like I can put something in. But I have nothing. Nothing of the sort. Chips is so unhappy together. Yeah, I already solved this, by the way. I already solved this, so this is not a puzzle anymore. The light is blinking mysteriously. But not much, just blinking. It wants a card. I have no card. A stick of gum looks new. Chip says chicken on the fingerprint scanner. I already tried that. We can try it again, but I already tried it. Chip says, or the gum. I already did that. I had that idea too. Oh boy, here we are. Just like a week ago. <laughs> Everything is suffering. Zex is zodiac symbols again. Um, Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces. But there's nothing that can, that lets me input a number or anything. That's the thing. That's the problem. Chip says, "Okay, I looked it up." Okay, Chip, give me a hint. Five, 
photo photocopier. Okay, cool. Thanks, thanks, uh, thanks, Chip. I'm coming. Chip says, use a touch screen. What touch screen? I am pressing the light, the, um, the, the white bar. Which I assume is a touch screen. Oh, fuck off! Chip says slide. When does the game ask me to slide? Good, the glass came off. That key is still inside, but I think I can take it now. Okay. Okay, w there, progress. Good, 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 good stuff. Sliding. This is locker number zero two, so it should be open with this key. Good, it's unlocked. What's in there? Whoa, it's a mirror. Don't scare me like that. It has a handprint on it. There's nothing here except a mirror. Seriously, give me a break. That handprint scared the hell out of me. This handprint, whose hand is this? Okay. There has to be more. I am sliding again because I know sliding. <laughs> Please tell me this is not a stupid... Okay, it's not a close the, the DS uh, puzzle. I already used everything. Um, next hint. Chip says, try using the gum on the finger specifically. I tried. Like, I am touching every finger.
Does anybody remember the puzzles in Ace Attorney? At least, uh, I think it was um, Rise from the Ashes and Apollo Justice, right? When you had to do stuff with fingerprints and you had to find a, a nice clear one. I I really like those puzzles. Chris says, try opening the gum. I might be able to take a fingerprint with this. Fuck off! I chew it to make it soft. Chew, chew. That should be enough. I spelled out the chewed gum. Fucking hell. Maybe I can take a fingerprint if I use this. Well, I'm not sure if this will be authorized, but it's worth a try. Oh, it worked. I took the fingerprint with the gum. I am so done. I'm not sure if this fingerprint will be authorized, but let's try it. Oh, it looks like the fingerprint was successfully authorized. Hmm, there's a letter, a bank card, and a piece of string. Cool, I might be able to use this. I better take them. A letter. Card. String. Finally. Okay, now we're going somewhere. I wish it had prompted me to open the gun and chew it before we did any of these things. A letter, it seems to be from the manager. I did this with my playful little mind. Sorry. Colon P. Colon fucking P. This is like the whole, the this game in a nutshell. Sorry, Colon P. Chris says, hey, this one had a little logic. The gum couldn't be used with paper on it. Yeah, but it could have let me just chew it before I had to learn from that I was going to be using it that way. If you do well, I think you can quickly get outside from the exit. And the text is overflowing from the text box. Great. Great. Good. Play well played game. Well played. Let me know how you liked it, the manager. Oh, fucking hell, this letter. I knew the manager was suspicious. Damn it, I don't get this. What does he want? The mar a mark that looks like a plus is drawn. Okay, I can see from, from the thing that it's the first one. And... The, the second one. I don't know whose card this is, but the machine should take it since it's a cash card. Let's see. Seems to have been read. Let's look at the screen closely. Input the password. Ah, uh, now, of course, this is a cash card. I can't see the details without a password. How many digit digits could it be? Looks like five digits as I see the screen. Five digits. Yes, it was correct. Let's check the balance. Wow, I've never seen such an amount of money. 89 million? $89,064,041. I saw the other person's account without their permission, but it's partly their fault leaving the card. Can I withdraw some money? I don't think I can, but I'm curious. It's okay, nobody's here now and a little one hurt, will it? Then I'll go ahead to savings. What, the password again? I entered it earlier. And it's even longer than before. That means I can't withdraw the money unless I enter this. 
The money is more tempting than escaping at the moment. I wonder if it's the other numbers. The password was incorrect. Have I ever seen such a large number of, di of digits? Zach says, how much money was it? Oh. Oh, really? Really now. Oh, why am I not taking just a picture of this? That's stupid. Chris says 84 million, basically, or 89. Uh, Tribex says maybe the balance is the password. Yeah, that's stupid. The password was correct. I'll be a millionaire. Hmm? Where's the money? That's not fair. Oh, well, I guess I shouldn't have got my hopes up. The lights came back on by solving the password. The situation has changed, so let's look around again. Uh. The sensor is back on and the entrance seems to be working. I can't get out. No, the store will flood if I open the door. Then the boss will be upset with me, but if I don't get out, I'll be in danger. What should I do? I'll pass on leaving for now. There are still a lot of questions I'd like answering. The power for the PC is on. Maybe it wasn't working because there was a problem with the electricity. Something is displayed on the monitor. Let's look. ITDM 92413. In that case... J1 A, B, C, D, E F, G, H, I, J A, B, C, D, E, F. U, oh boy. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N. The password was correct. Now I can use the PC. Um, Chris says, bot did this, boss did the shit. Fuck this store. Zach says, each of the, are the letters after 10, 21. Oh, uh, yeah. J, J is 10, U is 21, and is 14, E is U. I know, but I just, I just put it as it was. G, J, -un. So, get fucked. Hmm, it was a folder before it's changed to the icon for the security camera now. What will happen if I click this? Let's press and see. Hmm, what's that? I hear the noise from over there. I go look. It looks like the monitor for the security camera have turned on. Sweet natural. I'm pressing the button, but nothing's happening. It won't switch. 
warm earth. Okay. South, North, West, East. South, West, okay. So. Fun. I managed to log in after all my work. I'm not touching it because it would be a pain if it shuts down again. I no longer need to click the icon. It could be a pain if it turns off again. Okay, so the computer is useless. Zach says, Cardinal Directions. Yep. Norami says, the pizzeria near me now has ghost pepper chicken meatballs. Fuck. Why is that a fuck? Norami, have some self-control, please. The infrared lamp is on. Maybe the door will open. Let's check it out. Oh, damn. The door is open. It's working because the sensor has been turned on. Good. Let's go to the stock room from here. Norami says, don't touch it, Rick. I can move it, but I no longer need to. Let's leave it as it is. Hmm? It seems to be different from before. What's the difference? Mm, the wheels don't seem to move at all. I'm trying sliding. No sliding. Not up. We're down. We're up. Rami says, yeah, I ain't ordering that sh stuff. Zach says, grease the wheels with chicken. Damn, the wheel is rusty. I can't move the shelf like this. This one too, no wonder they couldn't move. Would it move if I grease them? But I'm using the chicken. It's a piece of chicken, grease is oozing out. It's a ketchup bottle. Maybe ketchup? No, it definitely wants to grease. The device I used earlier is still there. Many changes can be seen, but this one remains as it was. Did this shelf have something inside it when I saw it from the front? That means I should see it by looking from here. Are these goggles? Look at the goggles. Goggles that were found on the used shelf. The whiteboard is still there. I don't see any changes, so I wouldn't need to check. Let's go to the store. Priestess, oh, my favorite products come from Yamada and Abe. A 
piece of string that was found in the locker. String won't be useful if I don't tie it to something. Do you have something to tie it to? The toy car? Uh, okay, I tie the string to the toy car. A piece of string is tied to the toy car. Maybe I could use another item as well. Uh, sure, I attached the gum to the top of the toy car. Yeah, yeah, I was thinking about that. Yeah. Makes sense. Gum is attached to the top of the toy car with this string. Yeah, of course. How could, uh... Let's use this. I'm sure something would attach to it. Yes, that figure is the top of the toy car. It has something stuck to it. The, a pin was stuck to the toy car. The pin seems to be usable, so let's take it out. I picked up the pin that has a Virgo mark. Oh... So, how do I use the greasy chicken? I need, like, I need to squeeze the grease somehow. Or something. Yeah, there's nothing in there anymore, but... Zach says, heat up the chicken. Uh, I guess maybe the prompt is here now. Let's warm the chicken, something might happen. Oh, okay, then yeah. Makes sense. You. Oh, more grease is coming out than I guess expected. I wasn't planning to eat it, but... The grease, I wonder if I can use it for something. It would be great if I could carry this. Is there a tool I can use? Um, I have a container. What do you want me to use the, ke the, the, ketchup, the ketchup on? It's ketchup bottles. It has only a, a small amount left. Do I have to drink this? Shrebeck says maybe maybe they rub the wheel with it. Chip says this part is silly too. Yeah, how do I empty this thing? Chip says, swipe the bottle from the bottom. Really? The ketchup looks good enough to drink? Slurp! <laughs> <coughs> I had to swipe? Not touching. Swiping. I emptied the ketchup. Fuck off. Zach says slurp, Stripex says ew. Come on. Uh, fun fact. I actually, I actually eat ketchup packets on their own. Stripex says, I mean, I like ketchup, but eat, drinking it straight? I do that. I eat ketchup packets. Sue me, whatever, I don't care. That's right. That's right. I should be able to carry it with me if I put it into the container. Looks good. Now I can carry it and use it in another place. Oil into the ketchup bottle. Bottle. Okay, now drink that. Uh, 
Chris says, I always do that too, Rick. Chip says, I mean, who doesn't eat ketchup packets? Vegeta says, I mean, I did too, though in my younger days. Uh, chili sauce package. I'm not sure if this will work, but let's grease the front wheel. I grease. Wait, that's not like a spray bottle. This is this is a, a ketchup bottle, not a grease, not a not a spray bottle. I grease the front wheel, and it seems to be moving. Grease the back wheel, and it seems to be moving. Good, the shelf seems to move. Let's try to move it. Wow. The door is open and the ladder is coming down. Now I can go and check there. Hmm, what? It's not what I can get outside. It's not that I can get outside. No, there is a door on the ceiling. Can I get outside from here? Oh, I get this. Whoa, is there a... There is another weird device, and the wire is connected to the ceiling floor. I mean door. That means the device is controlling the door above. Sweet, natural, warm earth. South, north, west, east. Down, right, up. It's a lever, and it looks like it will move in all directions, but there's a mark in the center. Is this Pisces? Oh, it rang. Was it correct? It doesn't seem to be unlocked. Is something still missing? Alright, let's keep going. Um, man, I should have taken a picture of this. I should have taken a picture of the thing. Um, Zach says normal people chip. Chip says don't put any pins in yet. Zach says one six seven three. Chip says apparently you can lock yourself out of the good ending. Oh boy, make sure that doesn't happen. So why do I still have the key for the um, for the thing? There's nothing else here, there's nothing inside there. Nope. Chip says, remember the murky water in the fryer too. Oh yeah, that. I think there's a pin in there. Let's look one more time. It's strange. There seems to be nothing there. That's right. I might be able to see inside by using this. Are you gonna stick your... Honestly, I don't want to put my face in the strange water. Are you fucking kidding me? We are doing this. No, I have to. Here I go. A blub. Oh. Ah, I can see a pin there. Great. I can't reach it because the dog boards are blocking me. Alright, let's take out the dog boards. I think they should easily come off. 
Now we can take them out. Okay, so I have two of them. I'm missing the, um, the Gemini one. I don't know what kind of puzzle that was, but the electricity is so on now. Shame me, I missed out on the money though. I feel like there's something here. One plus six minus three plus three. Yeah, let me just write this down. Strayback says the protagonist this protagonist is insane. There's something that I haven't done anything with yet. Chip says, also remember the small fridge in the break room. Yep, that's what I was going to. This hole looks like I can put a pin in there. Let's try. I put the Virgo pin in the hole there. Oh, it fits. There's another hole. Let's have a look. Let's put the Scorpio pin in the hole there. I put the pins in the two holes, but... The board in the back came off. Hmm, something in the back looks like a pin. There's the Gemini pin. Oh. Sorry. Yes, yeah, Zach said it's minus three. Um, uh, but cool. Yeah, I have all pins. I have all pins now. I should save. I have not saved in a while. I feel like I'm gonna have... I'm gonna regret things if I don't save now. One, three, six, seven. This is weird. South, north, west, east. South, north, west, east. Zach says one, six, three, three, seven. Why? Do I need to input all of them? I mean, yeah, Zach says, or maybe just 1637, <clears throat> but I have not put any pins in there. Mm, didn't react. Maybe it was wrong. Let's start over. Yep. I'm guessing it just once. It didn't ring. They were removed. Let's start over again. Yeah, it doesn't want any of them. So I do need to put pins in there. Oh, man.
It rang, my guess was right. What? Oh. One? Six? Okay, one, six. Three? Seven? Okay, one, six, three, three, seven. Whoa, crap, the lever just came off. It came off so unexpectedly, I thought I would drop it. Sorry, I'm dumb. <clears throat> you were right. Hmm. Well, now it's about figuring out. Let me save again. Now it's just figuring out um, where to put the pins. It's Pisces. Yeah, it's Pisces, um, Scorpio, Virgo. No, 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 no. It's Gemini. Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces. But I don't understand what. Oh wait, wait, wait! Is this a is this a rose? This is a rose. Yeah, north, north is on the side. Okay, south, north, west, east. So don't tell me, don't tell me. South, north, west, east. South. North. Uh, West. East. Oh, all the pins came out. What's all this about? Does this mean I made an error? Hmm. South, north, west, east. I know that the side on the the thing on the side means north. Zach says might not be a rose. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking it is. I'm thinking the right the right one means north because that's usually how it 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 marks north. Oof. Chip says you were close. You were close. Um, I'm trying to figure out how to interpret this. So. Zach says, did you mix up Scorpio and Virgo? No. Look, 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 look. Okay. Um. No, I'm going to do it again. South.
and then north would be um Scorpio. And then west, which is the next stop, would be uh, Virgo. And then Pisces, east. Nope. It's something else. It's a different sequence. But I am kind of close. Zach says, still need to figure out the down, right, up. No, I. Th that's not important. Chip says, you got the right sequence. Okay, cool. Um, No, Zach, we already used the uh, down, right, up. I think we did it to unlock the um, the first part of the Pisces puzzle. Because I remember it did something like, oh, it unlocked or something. And then that's when I was able to input the other uh, sequence. Chance says the password is swordfish. Chance being useless as usual. So I have the right sequence. Which is Gemini. Yeah. Gemini, Scorpio, Virgo, Pisces. I assume. The problem is where to put them. Okay, let's be literal about it. Okay? Let's be literal about it. Um, The symbol for, for Gemini is located... On the east of the diagram. And then uh, the symbol for Virgo is located in the west of the diagram, kind of. And then it goes south uh, towards, I mean, not Scorpio, and then it goes south towards uh, Virgo. And finally, it goes up north for Pisces. And that's not it. Chances, but the password is always swordfish. So, hmm. I just need to figure out the where this goes. I am almost 100% sure that because of the way that the arrow is pointing, um, the right side, the right slot means north. I am almost sure. That's how it is in maps. Zex says, maybe not. Try normal. Okay. Okay, fine. Let's try it with ignoring that. So, south. North. West. East. Nope. Chip says, want me to tell you some kind of fuckery seems to be happening with the answer. Uh, what other kind of hint can you give me? I want the 
I want the vague satisfaction. So what's the fuckery here? Chip says east and west. Oh. Oh no. Please tell me they are not reversed. I will shit my fuck if they are reversed. Excuse me? How was I supposed to know that? Chips is, like I said, fuckery. Are you kidding? Zach says, how are we supposed to know that? It's just like last time. How were we supposed to know that? Strabek says, was there a clue re uh, relating to East and West being reversed? Uh, no, I don't think so. It was correct. I hear the sound coming from the door. I can finally get outside. Yes, the door is open. I thought I'd never get out of here. Good, I'm getting out of here. Phew, I finally managed to get outside. Hello there. Ah, you're the Karen I saw this afternoon. It's you who messed up the store. So you are not just a pretty face? You're right. It was me who set up all the puzzles. You brought this on yourself. My store was here first, but you stole all my customers because of the location. Thanks to you, my store is in debt. It used to be a bursting business. Bustling. That's why I did this. I sabotaged the store and stole the items because of the damage you caused me. This is my revenge. You, as the manager, are responsible for ruining my life. Spoken like a true motherfucking Karen. Chip says maybe somewhere? The storm was an added bonus. Your store is swept away by the water and gone. Ha 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 ha. Now I remember you. I should have guessed that you would plan something like this. But I'm sorry to disturb your gloating. I'm afraid I'm not the manager. What? But you're always in the store. Plus, if I were you, I would be more concerned about my own store. I wonder if it can withstand this storm. Store, storm, get it. Well, would you look at that? What? Ah, my store! Conan says, whoa! Regina says, lol. <laughs> Zach says, get fucked, Karen. <laughs> Stryback doing a lol. Chip says, Karen get karma but my mother nature. And Chan says, it happens? <laughs> I need, I need this. Hold on, let me screenshot this. Because this is, <laughs> this is, <laughs> this is amazing. Chan says, oh no, it's Rick's choking. 
Oh, man. Is this the best ending? Is this what Chip was talking about when he said uh, the, en the good ending? <laughs> oh, man. Uh, Conan says, oh, jeez, Mother Nature. Take care in a way, too. And Chip says, this is the good ending. I'm going to I'm going to post this to Twitter with no context. Chip says bad, bad ending was if you went out the front door. Yeah, I'm glad I didn't do that. I I knew it was like a trick. Whoops, there goes your roof. Looks like it that could be expensive to fix. Hey, what are you doing here? How did you find this emergency exit? What's going on? My store is empty and you are on the roof. And who is that woman? She's the manager of the store over there. Did you make this exit? I made it for emergency use in storms. Wait, why is she here? She came here out of revenge for us, taking away her customers. She caused all this. Ah, so you are the manager. How dare you take my customers? Thanks to you, my life is ruined. How are you going to make it up to me? Wow, she's blaming him for everything. I understand your frustration. I never knew that your store was in such a difficult situation. I'm just sorry I didn't have time to meet you because I was busy with the store when it opened. It's going to be difficult to get your store up and running again. My store should be fine though, with a little work. How about I make you an offer? Why don't you come and work at my store? You have a lot of experience, we could run the store together. Wow, really? Are you sure? Sure, I have no problem with that. I'd love you to, in fact. In that case, I accept. Huh? What the hell? Now I've seen everything. She tries to ruin us and gets a job offer. I have terrible experience and don't even get an apology. I'm really sorry for my actions. We should forgive and forget as we will be co-workers from now on. I couldn't agree more. Accept the apology and don't forget to clean the store tomorrow. What? What? Seriously, give me a break. I think the boss has a crush. Soon after, my boss and the rival manager got married and now business is booming. <laughs> what? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the actual fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> What do you mean they got married? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no! Chip says, was suffering through, through those horrible puzzles worth getting Karen getting fucked? Well, Zack clipped uh, the thing. Zack said, no, fuck her. And Chip says, fucking Karen. Zack says, no? What? Strybeck says, Karen cross manager Zach says Karen didn't become the manager she married the fucking manager oh man <laughs> we always have customers even during the low season I'm still part-time worker there and we all get on very well now this all happened last fall and I'm pleased to say it's just a happy memory now oh fucking hell I am pissed. I have been blue balled. I. <coughs> uh, <coughs> Chip says she fucked the manager. And Conan says, What's going on? Zex is carrying fucking reverse east and west. She doesn't deserve happiness. She did the thing, like, she's also to blame for that stupid, the, um, the stupid sliding puzzle bullshit. Wait. Oh, we can blame these people for this game.
Oh my goodness. Strybeck says, to be fair, I sometimes get East and West mixed up. I... You know, you know how I learned to never forget? Um... When I think West, I think the, um, I think the Walt West, and I know that it was California, and like, that coast. That's how I always remember. Ugh. Zex says, blame. Karen is to blame. As deadly as her toxic mood, here comes the bitch again. Wow, this game is nine years old. You know what? I am glad I streamed this. Because this shit is to be believed. <clears throat> Another game in the bag. It's over. Zack linked. Oh, the Gladys is to blame song. Chip says, next up, Ninja Castle, but not tonight. For today, I am done. Ninja Castle will probably happen at some point when I don't have anything else to stream. It's going to be my fallback game, basically. Sex is Among Us time, and I am not streaming Among Us. The only way you're gonna get me to stream Among Us is to they put it on Switch, but I don't think that's gonna happen because that game has horrible programming. <clears throat> I still can't believe uh, a little um, game, like a little um, shovelware game from Steam. Um, became so big. I mean, good concept, but whatever. So that's gonna be it for this, um, stream. Thank you very much for coming to this. Have a good night, have a good evening, afternoon, day, morning, or whatever you have on your side of the planet. And I will be seeing you again very soon. <clears throat> oh, hi, um, Dusky Sam, the Bree, the Bree Mew Jester. Hi, hello. Thanks for dropping by and dropping a Mew dab. Okay. Chip says bye bye, Weasel. Strikeback says good night, Rick. All right. Take it easy. Take it. Take the uh, weekend off. Do whatever. I will be back on Monday with. Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival, November edition. We are very getting very close to the end of this. Well, not really, but we have to do it. So that's it. Um, Chip says, which day will be your 400th? Yeah, that's happening. <clears throat> Let's see. 92, 93, 94, 95, 96. Today was stream number... Um, 496. If everything goes by, uh, as planned, 97, 98, 98, 99, yeah, 7, 8, 9, 0. I am planning on and making it happen on a Friday. But I have four streams from now, so... It's very likely that next week I may take one day off. Um, not just for, for the 400th stream to happen 
on a on a Friday, because otherwise it would happen on a Thursday. Um, but because I want to take a day off. Now, because I don't want to skip on Mario and Luigi, it's not gonna be Wednesday. I may take Thursday off. Yeah, I may take Thursday off. And uh, in that case, the 400 stream would be on on a Friday. <coughs> Next Friday. Um, yeah. So I guess next week we're just gonna be seeing one stream of each game. One stream of, um, uh, of Animal Crossing Mabel Festival, one stream of Mario and Luigi <clears throat> Superstar Saga, one stream of Metroid Prime, and the 400th stream. Yeah, I think I need a little bit of variety like that. So, yeah, that's the plan for now. So, yeah. Or I already said my goodbyes. That's a song. Um, yeah, so this was Rick that we saw that you know. Signing off. Okay, then. Bye-bye. See ya. Bye.